Hello, my name is Dark Berries. I hijacked this channel to talk about Full Hunter Guide for Ragnarok Origin Global Edition. Why did I highlight Ragnarok Origin Global Edition? Because there are a lot version of Row Origin on the internet now. Many of the content creators outside shared their experiences from Korea servers. Please take it with a grain of salt because most of the info they share is not working in global servers. Rue Global Monster has higher stats, which will affect the meta and job balance. So here, my info is based on Taiwan servers, which use Rue 2.0 system from the start, just like global servers. Now I will explain, newbie to veteran knowledge of Hunter, Speedy, and Trapper build, Included skill build, tips with explanation. First, for speedy hunter, agility critical build. Max the skill listed above for the first job. Also, go item shop and buy 3k each elemental arrow with you. Then, craft steamed crab nipper from cooking life skill. Eat this while grinding. This will save a lot of blue pot for you. Keep spam, normal attack, double strafe, and wind dance while grinding until level 70 so you can craft your meta weapon hunter also has elemental switch advantage you can always attack target with weakness other classes need converters crafted by blacksmiths in the early game hunter also can choose to build trapper stats point allocate make it x equal to in plus 25 you can use the cards with instas to boot DMG. But Trapper only recommended on early game, don't invest too much. Explain later. You can invest 40k Jenny to unlock second present for it, so you can switch Trapper for grinding, skill type for instance. After level 70, you can change job and reset stats point to agility critical build. Get Xion Bow as free to play. Crab Bow as pay to win. Xion Bow give free to play good attack speed and attack with low investment. For pay to win, who already has a lot of growth stats, Crab Bow allows you to deal more damage. For Trapper, his true core weapons is locked at level 90, so just use Rotor Bow or Elemental Bow as substitute until then. Refining in Ragnarok Origin is very friendly, as long you buy. Blessed Tor, from Diamond Shop, your weapon refinement will never level down. LV70 Iox Bow is still not your best weapon, Sniper becomes real overpowered start from LV80, after you get the Auto Blitz and Beat Meta Bow. Level 80 Auto Blitz and Beat Bow, needs at least plus 10 to make it works, plus 15 to unlock the full potential. Plus 10 or plus 15 is achievable with free to play with Blessed Tor. So the main stats priority to increase for Sniper are, Attack Speed, Look, Attack Percent, Damage Multiplier, Dexterity, and Physical Damage, Ignore Defense. Stats Point Build Go Full Agility, Then Luck. This means go 99 Naji first, then the rest put on Luck. Your goal is to maintain 500% attack speed with all buff. Dex is not quite needed since the ATK it gives is not much. You need more hits to trigger auto blitz speed, more Aji means more attack hit. Also, drink concentrate potion for 10% attack speed bonus. The reason why no dexterity, it was because you need more agility and luck to trigger auto blitz speed. Sniper Auto Blitz and Beat Build, the Falcon is the one dealing DMG there. As the video shows, main character critical damage is 20k, but Blitz Beat deal 70k per hit. The Falcon damage also ignores size penalty, and benefits from critical damage percent. But the forced neutral elemental is its only weakness, but who cares if your bird can hit 5 times per second. But please note that critical damage in Ragnarok Origin, did not ignore defense. 
it only ignores flea and deal 140% base damage, which can be increased by a crit damage percent. Auto blitz speed damage can be increased with attack percent. And others. Also, Falcon cannot use physical damage, or ranged damage to increase damage. Since attack percent is hard to get in game, the only way to get stable pot percent is via level 65 enchantment and level 85 metal growth. Skill point allocation, in the early game, max, double straight, for farming. After second job hunter, max, wind dance, then put the rest skill on auto blitz beat. For third job sniper preparation. After third job sniper at LV70, max, sonic blast, burst claw, true sight, then, arrow training. Sniper can autocast, blitz speed, and, sonic blast, while normal attacking, this also allows legend pet ghost samurai active skill faster. The, sonic blast, skill will autocast and give you 25% ignore defense ability. One of the reasons that sniper is overpowered in the late game. Ignore defense allows you to deal high damage without having a ton of gold feather. That's why sniper is good at late game. Equipment guide, the accessories cards on the left is for samurai tier 0 pet build, and on the right side are for the samurai tier 3 pet build. Sniper best end game pet is Ghost Samurai, which can be obtainable via free to play when the time has come. Get summon scroll from events. Weapon cards. Sidewinder, allow sniper attack two times from far, the second hit will also trigger auto blitz beat, that's why this card is OP. Weapon cards, hunter fly, allow sniper attack gain life drain, but normally only use for grinding. Weapon cards, magnolia, debuff target with curse which decrease their movement speed and look to zero, aka zero crit trees, normally for PvP. Weapon cards, Squidget or Goblin Steam Rider, critical damage plus 10%, which works both Sniper himself and the Falcon's auto blitz speed. Best bet? So he gives a lot of attack speed and life drain and OW gives ranged damage bonus in early game. The best and the only one, the legend pet ghost samurai, its skill perfectly fit with sniper. You can also use the card that gives you auto skill while attacking, it will give samurai, charge, faster to spam skill non-stop. Also, try to get tier 3 ghost samurai, you get a game changer damage boost. Since no 100% pity chance to get it, good luck. 
bear score guide, you can get Cogwheel from daily MVP rewards, used for bear score system after LV55. Focus on getting the core that give you attack speed, your main goal is to reach 500% attack speed for stable auto blitz and BDPS. After you can maintain 500% attack speed, get the core that gives you 40% damage increase, elemental arrow and steady focus plus 70% for more damage. For Trapper, your meta weapons only unlock after level 70. In the early game, find the spot with 3 mobs, try 1 hit them with claim or trap. Equipment focus with int gear and magic damage. The stats point build is dex equal to int plus 25. Example, 75 dex, 50 int. Trapper is very easy to grind in early game, but after level 70 plus, mobs will get higher HP and defense. You will find out hard to grind. Plus the trapper at global is actually getting nerfed again. I don't know why, this is global special addition to anti free to play because it was too overpowered. But I think trapper is still playable with plus 10 trapper bow, but once you got plus 15 bow, quickly switch to speedy hunter build for a better gaming experience. Some content creator keep saying Trapper build is good or overpowered. Yes they are good or before nerf, but not now, global. Reason 1, Route 2.0 mobs has higher defense, free to play has low ignore defense in the early game. How to deal good damage in this environment. Almost 4x lol. Reason 2, Trapper cooldown Barris core is removed. Also, the cooldown of the skill is badly nerfed. From 1.8 seconds, changed to 2.4 seconds at Taiwan, lastly nerfed to 3 seconds global version. So this is better to change to Speedy Hunter, Auto Blitz and Beat build after level 70. Who has ignored defense advantage, Trap skill no bonus ignored defense. Also, you can spend your Monster Annihilation duration on Bashana or Sandman cards. You really need them at the late game. Oracle Dungeon will give you real end game gear, which allows you to swap meta weapon anytime just with one click, no need to craft multi weapons. Also with a special ability attached to it, which gives you a lot of boosts. Similar to ROM ancient equipment stats, but more OP. いいねをクリック動画をシェアするよろしくお願いします。<音楽>